Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, I just, I was so busy trying to uh, go and do my other chores, cleaning out the garage today, but something just kept coming at me and coming at me. So I decided I'll go ahead and do a live and kind of share the message that I got, uh, which really I thought was for me personally. But hi, everybody. Um, if I don't say hello when you come in, just don't hold it against me. I'm still learning all of this. Um, anyway, when I, um, had this dream and I'm going to share it when more people come, um, I thought it was something real personal for me, but actually I realized it wasn't. It was some message for the collective conscious. So I am going to share that. Um, make sure that when you see the notification button here that you click on the notification button and, um, you know, you're more than welcome to do comments. Um, you can click likes, you can hit um, um, hearts, whatever, whatever you feel that you want to do. So sometimes this lags a little behind, so just bear with me here. I want to say hello to everyone who has come in. Hello, hello. Um, I'm actually using my phone this time instead of a laptop, so I'm, I'm trying to find a mouse, and I don't have a mouse with my phone, so bear with me. Hey, Pam1. Even though we still joke, I should be Pam1 because I'm a little older, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, I don't know if I really want to set up on my laptop as well. I think I'm just going to go with the phone and go with the flow. Um, and just, I'm saying hi to everybody. I don't know who's all come in. Sometimes it takes a little while. So I wanted to wait a little bit later because I know some people have to work really late, which is kind of a shame that y'all have to work so late for those that are considered essential. Um, I feel for all of you having to go and be, uh, you know, having to go to work. For those of you who can work from home, um, that's awesome. So, hi everybody. I can see everybody starting to come in. Hello, beautiful yourself, Miss Lolo. Um, so, be sure to say hello to each other as you're, um, you know, you can you you know each other sometimes when you come into the room so you can chat and say hello um cleo it's been a while since i've seen you hi lisa good to see you all um i don't know who all is going to be tonight it's just there's a lot of people doing lives and there's a lot of um i think there's some zoom stuff going on zoom um group uh classes or events um so um, I thought, I just felt like I, we don't have to be on for long, but I really wanted to share what was going on. If I have not said hello to you guys, um, don't hold it against me. Um, let's see. Okay, we've got enough people in here, I think, that we can get started with what's going on. So, yeah, uh, chat amongst yourselves. Um get caught up if you haven't seen each other for a while. Um, you know, this is kind of like our socialization lately, right? Um, so I wanted to, um, I wanted to share something. I, I know that we've all been having some really, um, crazy dreams. And I know I was just talking with Pam, uh, about this earlier, um, she seems to be waking up a lot at three in the morning, and I think there's more people waking up at three. That's like the witching hour where, you know, we're, we're closer to the veil than normal. And, um, you know, I, I think that's kind of when spirit tries to give us messages. That's how I see it. Um, even these uh, nightmares and crazy dreams, I you know, they're, they're, they're giving us messages and it doesn't necessarily mean, um, 
Yeah, 2 to 3 a.m. Yeah, that, that is, like I said, that's a witching hour. Um, so everybody say hello. I'm just kind of scrolling back to see if I missed anyone coming in. Hi, Megan. Hi, Michelle. Just kind of say hello. Uh, oh, hi, Jocelyn. Gosh, it's been a while since I've seen you. Um, so yeah, three, three-ish. It's crazy. And, and you can't go back to sleep. So it's happening a lot. Um, hi, Carla. Uh, I can't see everyone who comes in. So, um, you know, do a shout out, say hello. Um, hi, Jules. Hi, everybody. So I've been also having some really crazy, crazy dreams. So, and I, I wish you guys could smell. I, I went ahead and did my saging all over. Um, it's still burning and it still smells really, really good. Um, hopefully you guys get to smudging and saging around your house as well. Um, hi. Hi, everybody. So, I have a group message when i woke up from a dream and i'm gonna um i'm gonna share my dream that i had uh i in the dream hi artemis good to see you in my dream i was in a helicopter i was not the pilot i was a passenger in the helicopter and I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> there are sirens and my dog is howling. Oh, it always cracks me up. Um, so this dream, I was lifted up in the helicopter. Hi, Erica. And we were just barely um, getting off the, uh, rising from the landing. And the there was engine trouble. And we, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, we crashed, but when we crashed, we landed ever so gently. Um, I thought that was real interesting. I wasn't afraid at all in, in this dream. I, I normally would be. Michael, welcome. I'm so glad that you came in to say hello. You all have to meet Michael. Oh, my gosh. He has the most awesome lives. Uh, he uh, his, his lives are called the Crystal Queer. And he is just fabulous. Um, very, very gifted psychic friend of mine. So say hello. Um, so in, in this helicopter dream, like I said, I was in the helicopter. Um, we were hovering and then all of a sudden we had engine trouble and we crashed, although it landed very gently. The, I was not afraid. The pilot got out, opened up the engine, looked down and said something to me to the effect of, this is no big deal. It's fixable. We can, we can do this. And I thought, oh, good. So I just had to wait for him to do his things. Um, yeah, Michael, I adore you. Um, I want to make sure that they start following you on your page too, Michael. So when I woke up from the dream, I wasn't afraid. What bothered me was I, you know, I, I wasn't... I was thinking, I'm not feeling like I'm crashing anywhere. Um, I'm quite content and happy with my life, and I'm going forward. So it kind of hung on, I, that feeling hung on to me, and I, I went into some meditation. Now, having dreams of helicopters, it, it signifies like having plans and projects that are starting soon and going to be lifting up off the ground, and helicopters also indicate a freedom uh, and, and a willingness to adapt to certain situations. Uh, and it's, it's absolutely about freedom. So I went into meditation and I thought to myself, okay, if this isn't just a personal thing, what, it, what are we doing here? Guess what? I pulled from my vintage wisdom deck, which is, you guys know how much I love that deck. Oh my God, it is so fabulous. So I pulled Kindred Spirits. Probably you guys can't see it so well. Kindred 
spirits. And, you know, feel free to jump in with this at any time, guys, but I still couldn't understand what are you talking about. And then as I was in my meditation, um, I heard the phrase, well, kindred spirits in, in the wake of humanity, as far as humanity goes, we are all kindred spirits. So, yeah, that was, a, you're right, Michael, it was a crazy dream, but um, um, hi, Jude, and anyone else I might have missed coming in. So, then I thought, oh my gosh, now, it, and it reminded me, I have been going out in nature, taking walks, doing what I've done all along, looking for hearts, but, and normally when I'm doing my walk, nobody really acknowledges each other very much. We're kind of in that quiet meditative mode until recently. Everyone is smiling and saying hello. And um, I, I was like so astonished because y'all know me. I wish I could go and hug these people, but social distancing. So it is about, um, we are all... That's right. We, we do need to be kind. And think of us. We're all in this helicopter that took off and then it crash landed. But, it, it you know, we are being watched over. We are protected and it's all going to work itself out. We are in this together. We just have to know that we, we're these kindred spirits that are in this helicopter. It's been um, uh, put back down gently and it's being worked on. But as soon as that pilot gets that worked uh, worked out and get it repaired, we'll be back on our way even better. We just have to be patient. So that's what I figured out what the kindred spirits were all about. Um, so I thought, well, I wanted to kind of share that because it is true. And I, I wanted to see um, with... I wanted. I, I had my thoughtful Thursday cards um, up earlier. Or for those of you that like to follow that, I'm going to use the same deck, which is the other one that I love. Hi, Chelsea. The Gaia deck. I don't know how many of you might have that. I don't know, Michael. Do you have the uh, the Gaia deck? And if you don't have the Vintage Wisdom, you really do need to um, patience. You you got to have patience. And I want to say hello to all these people that have come in. Hi, Laura. Um, I'm sure that I've missed some of y'all, and I, I apologize. I don't mean to. I'm just trying to get this message out. Um, oh, hi, Melody. Welcome from Australia. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. I'm in Peoria, Arizona. Um, and everyone can say where they're from. Oh, hi, Lisa. Yes, we have been dropped a wee bit. That is correct. But... You know, and I think we are going to be more kindred spirits from now on, from this day forward. I think that we're going to be a kinder, gentler, caring community. I, I hope that we are. And I thought, let's just see. I'm going to pull another card. Um, the kindred spirits was really important. Um, let me see here. Oh, yeah, everybody kind of talk about where you're from and talk about each other, or not about each other, excuse me, talk to each other. Let's see what we have for a group card. I probably won't, you know, do individual card readings tonight. Um, you can most certainly check out my Thoughtful Thursdays on Wings of Inspiration. And you can also, I, I'm still going to be doing the half off readings from now until the end of April, um, until this is all over with. Um, I'm obviously just doing them on the phone. Y'all understand that. So let me see what card I pulled for all of us as a collective. But does that dream make sense to you guys? You know, I really just, I don't know, I just needed to share that. Ah, so I pulled the eternal... I probably have to learn how to turn these things around. I don't do such so well. The eternal love card. And it says here, happiness, harmony, and fulfillment. I think as a collective, we have not been in harmony. We have not um, been as happy as we would like to be. And many of us are not fulfilled. 
But guess what is happening now? We all have opportunities to um, find out what our hearts desire. We should always, always follow our heart. And I, those of you who have followed me before, you know that I've had several two by fours because I didn't follow my heart. And in fact, that's another thing I was going to bring up real quick. I was cleaning out the garage today and something fell out of a bag and it landed on the floor of the garage and it had a, a white dove on one side and on the other side it said, follow your heart. Ah, I love it. I just love when those things happen. Um, so with this eternal love, we, 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 we have eternal love from our people. I call them our peeps on the other side. Um, hi, all the new people that have come in. Hi, Lane. <clears throat> so yeah, Michael, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect timing. I, I don't know what you guys might be working on trying to do different. I, made myself step outside my comfort zone, finally did my YouTube channel, did my first Facebook Live. I, I loved the first one. I thought, what took me so long? I, we don't want any more two by fours, but this coronavirus is a two by four. I firmly believe that. And, you know, we're going to get through it. And I think that, I just think our souls, uh, uh, as a collective are just gonna you know our souls want to love and I think that's what's going to happen we're going to be able to share more of that love um not only with other people but with uh, that's right we do need to be reminded about love um and it's not just about loving everybody around us <clears throat> It's about moi, we have to learn how to love us. And um, that was a hard thing for me to learn because I've been a healer for so long. I'm Everyone's always been in the forefront. I've always taken care of other people before myself. So I just want you all to remember to think about you. That's why I share so much of the hearts that I find. And that's why I started my Wings of Inspiration page um, because I want to be able to have you guys remember who you are. Um, don't wait to figure it out like I did and get the two by four. So that's kind of important. So um, yeah, welcome. Hi, Lane. Good to see everybody. So did that card resonate with you guys? Um, what, what, Michael, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, you you and I have kind of been on the same page with our um, our meditations and our messages that were received. Yes, self care must come first. That is correct. And I think you were just talking about that not too long ago in your live, weren't you? <laughs> oh, I love his lives, guys. You really do need to follow him. Um, I I don't know how to put links up here, but one of these, you know. Thank you. So one of these days, I'll learn how to put links up on here as to where to find people. Um, you know, one one thing at a time. But um, I'm hoping that you all are doing your part to step outside the box. Um, hi, Pam and Pam. Hey, Nina, I'm glad you made it. So I hope you guys are doing your thing to step outside your box. Um, so what other words of wisdom, Michael, I'm waiting for you to throw something out because you always have, uh, words of wisdom and what stone do you think is a good one? I'll see if we match that stone. I kind of was thinking about that earlier today. Hi, Sandy. It's so good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. So, you know, it is so interesting to, um, have everyone talking about their crazy dreams. I think that we're all connected in even in the dream state. And there's a lot happening. For for those of you that are waking up at three, I I um I I was there. I, I haven't been Pammy. Oh I just love being called Pammy. Um 
So I, I, I used to wake up at three o'clock in the morning all the time. And I finally just, you know, I would sit up and I would finally say, what, what, who's here? What, what do you want? What's your message? Let's see here. <laughs> Amethyst. Okay. Amethyst. That is a beautiful stone. Um, that has so many different qualities to it. So amethyst is very, very good to be uh, around, carry it in your pocket. Um, Michael, what do you think about putting, what would be a good stone to put underneath the pillows for people who are having some really crazy dreams? Um, let's see, you're, you're usually pretty good with the crystals, so you let us know. Let's see, I... I have a celestite by my bed and I keep that, um, I keep a big, large uh, crystal of it right next to my bed. So um, sometimes I'll even put a, a small piece of celestite underneath my, uh, my pillow. You go to sleep at three. Oh my gosh. Uh, nights. Yep. Amethyst nightstand, holding it when you meditate. Very, yeah, that's perfect. And I've also been drawn to put a little small rose quartz underneath my pillowcase. Like I said, the earlier card we were talking about eternal love, and it's about self love and not just everybody else. And for those who just came in, I just wanted to share earlier, Kindred Spirits card came up when I talked about my helicopter dream. Maybe you can go back and listen to some of this, but we are all kindred spirits in humanity right now. We are all connected. And I think our angels and guides and loved ones, they're all looking at us right now going, well, I wonder, I wonder if they're going to come together. I wonder if they're going to um, get that unconditional love. When you think about it, we come from unconditional love. We go home back to unconditional love. The challenge is doing and feeling and sharing and having unconditional love while we're here on earth. I think that's a big lesson for all of us to learn and you know look at so, you know there's a lot of negativity out there but oh my gosh the love mm -hmm. people are helping each other um let's see probably not you know this thing isn't scrolling so good for me guys so if i'm missing a comment i'm sorry it sometimes just lags um Scolocyte, apophyllite, and black tourmaline. Yes, absolutely. I love my black tourmaline. I have a lot of apophyllite. What color is scolocyte, Michael? I don't. I don't have my um, crystal. Challenging truth. Yeah, chills. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of chills and a lot of those myself lately. Absolutely. That's what I mean. I had to get on tonight and share the dreams um, and maybe just make some people feel a little bit better about their crazy dreams and waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, this, this pandemic thing is really... Um, so there's so much opportunity for us to become authentic and our true selves and step into who we truly are and do what we said we were going to come here and do. I think there's a lot of people that have kind of said, well, one of these days I'm going to do this. One of these days I'm going to do that. Well, you know what? It's now. Now is one of these days. So you've got opportunity being by yourself. I, I had to laugh at my friend earlier because my poor dog loves attention. Well, guess what? She finally got said to me, like, get out of my face. You know what? You've hugged me enough today. Jeez, let me breathe. <laughs> it was so funny. I didn't even realize I was constantly hugging my dog. Well, what would they expect us to do? You know, go find a teddy bear when the shops aren't even open. So anyway, I ramble. I digress. So um, everybody, 
I'm hoping to do um, some more now is our time. That is correct. I am going to be periodically getting back on here and doing some lives. Um, sometimes I'm going to try to do our time. Yeah, I know we're all my typos aren't, you know, I've got a lot of typos. So I'm going to try to um, have time to pull some more readings and some cards. I still do my Thoughtful Thursday. Um, for those, I have a, a new YouTube channel. I'm pretty excited about that. Hi, Britt. Welcome. And anyone else that I have not said hello to, welcome. Um, I have my new YouTube channel. I have been making myself um, step outside my comfort zone and do these lives, but gosh, I don't know. It feels pretty good. I don't really feel too nervous about it. Um, what stone should I have to center yourself? Let's see. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Mm, let me think. What do I use when I want to center myself? I definitely, it's a blue stone. Let me think. Um, maybe Michael can help me out. He's so, he's so good on the crystals. Um, welcome. Yeah, I, I love sharing. I, I personally, what's the blue? It's, is it, um, oh, it might be angel light. I try to use angel light. I also use the crystal quartz um, for centering. I, I'm, I'm really drawn to some of the rose quartz right now, too, um, because, you know, it, 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 it's right in the heart area when you want to uh, center yourself, put a, put a rose quartz right in there. So, um, yes, thank you for all being here. And, um, you know, if it's something that y'all want to do more of, Celestite, Angelique. Okay, well, the Celestite is definitely by mm -hmm. my bed. I definitely use the Celestite for my personal centering. Uh, and, and the angel, angel, uh, the angel light, absolutely. Well, hi, Melody. Gosh, I'm, I know it's good to see all you people that come in. Angel Light. <laughs> Angel Light is, is the one that I use to, to do a lot of centering. That, yeah, we're in agreement with that. Um, Melody, it's good to see you. You look, y'all look lovely. I can see all of you. You know, that's what clairvoyants do, right? I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going to be doing these. Um, if you feel drawn to follow me on this page, I think if you click notifications in here, you'll get notified the next time I go live. Uh, be sure to go and follow Michael. Uh, he is fabulous. Uh, he has, um, um, he does a lot of crystals with his readings, so it's pretty cool, and he kind of tells you which one to kind of follow at the moment, so I will be back soon, and thank you all for coming, uh, think about the message that I sent as a group message, and I will talk to you guys soon, you see us, you see me, I see you, all right, you guys, love one another, uh, wash your hands, uh, clean out your closets, get rid of stuff. Oh, and before I leave, if something doesn't really fill you joy, get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Um, I've had to get rid of a lot of stuff, and I was holding on to it going, but what if it wasn't bringing me happiness? Get rid of it, clean everything out, and I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all. Bye.